Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa. It's been a while. I had a vacation. I needed a vacation. Um, boy, I was really heartbroken. Like, seriously, with what happened last time. Um, I did not expect it. And, wow, we've only technically really just gotten into this game, and it's already ripped my heart out. So, I'm a bit... I'm a bit tentative to go forward, but we, we have to go forward. We have to go forward and find out what's going to happen next. Uh, there are people left that I've got to protect now. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Who's crying? Oh, Hina! I know I shouldn't cry. Oh my, this picture. Wow. What's wrong, darling? But... Like, I don't know. I cried too, don't worry. You alright? I've had enough. Yeah, I don't blame you. I can't take it anymore. She's too nice. This is too much for her. Getting out of here? Anytime soon? Oh dear. It's... impossible. I can't let myself think about... how much I want to get out of here. Poor girl, I know. I'm gonna try to get you out. If I keep thinking like that... I might decide to... No, you won't do it. You're too good. Surely you couldn't do that to anybody. I just hope nothing happens to her. Ugh. Oh, now I'm not sure what to think. Anything could happen to anybody at this point. Donuts. What? I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Okay, honey, you go do that. Just be careful. Oh, look at her room. It's so cute. There's sunblock and... I think that's sunblock over there and... Water bottles, and swimsuit, and all a bunch of stuff. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream-filled donut holes, malasadas. How do you stay so thin eating donuts okay. all the time? Oh, god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Oh, she's so silly. Hello? Oh, god. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, Donuts are absolutely necessary. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Please, please tell me nothing's gonna happen to her. What's that? Huh? What the hell is that? No. No, 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 no. I can't. I, I just got back. Please. What the shit is that? Huh? What's that sound? Oh my Christ. It's awful. Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Dude, 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 no, I'm not cool, uh, no, I'm not okay with this, don't go in there, get somebody. I'm super scared, but... No, 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 Hina, please. Is... someone there? Hina? Oh my god, I'm like shaking already. <coughs> what the shit? What is that? That looks like Chihiro a little bit. What the... What the shit was that then? Next generation legend, stand tall galactic hero. What the fuck? What what? Okay. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Boy, there ain't much of us left. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. We're missing some still. We are. And I expected to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> You're alright, hero. Yo, today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. Um, I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Oh my Christ, please tell me nothing's happened to her. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Is she okay, Sakura? Have you checked on her? I hope so. Oh, that is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. Maybe we shouldn't leave her alone. So then. So, it's just the seven of us then? Looks that way. How about that? Oh, it's times like this when the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. I don't think Taka's okay. Oh no, look at him. My precious baby. I've got to... I've got to help him. Well, I feel for him now. Oh, he needs looking after. Impossible. Oh, or not? Taka? Are you alright, darling? Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. I'm not surprised. I mean, technically, I've been gone for a while, but it was only yesterday that this happened. He's just gonna come unhinged. I gotta look after him. 
One look on his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because of Mondo. Oh no, I don't want to see this again. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished, nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> no. It's like... Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. But I get about the outside world and accept this new life. That's the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? I mean, at this point. It's obviously serious, right? Somebody gonna die unless you all agree to this. Well, here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its per perversion, sorry. <laughs> In which case, our current situation not... <laughs> what? Demon angel, pretty pudgy princess. I uh, hope you're not calling Celeste that. She's gonna backslap you. Huh? Huh? Here we go. Mickey, the drill shop owner, the buddy-eared Amazon cat girl dog boy, Robo Justice, the galactic king. And, and, and <laughs> what I mean is there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. Their mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Uh, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic, hmm. as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. You guys are right. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Oh, maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> there very well be may be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um, <laughs> your point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, and so I appear. Oh. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure like what was gonna happen with this. Like, I wasn't sure if Toka was gonna be her normal self again, or if we were gonna see more of her. I don't know which one I favor. What? I, nobody called for you. Uh, um... oh, whoa, how come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! Oh god, this place is just amazing. Finally a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I've got to destroy that stereotype. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, wow. Um. Uh, uh, but you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chance of survival would go up at least 10%. Ah, uh -huh. uh, come on, you're gonna back me up here? Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> oh my god, she's so silly. Huh. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> She's just still laughing away over there. All right there, silly. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much-needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Honestly, with the way that she murders people, I don't think anybody but Biaki has to worry. I think everyone else is safe. I don't know. And honestly, I don't even know if I'd give a crap. If, um... You know, if she killed Biaki. Yeah, there, I said it. All right, fine. So let's go ahead and look around. Now, if if everything's correct, then we should be able to see a third floor. Um, I don't know if it'll show up on the map or not, but um, actually, let's let's actually see if it does. I also have coins to spend, which I need to do. Stairs to two F. Right. That looks like the third floor. The gate is still blocking those stairs. Hmm. All right, well, where are we? So, 
Well, we're still, oh, I went to the wrong stairs is why. I don't, oh, I'm the biggest moron. I just like teleported backwards. This is why I have to like walk everywhere because I just don't even know what I'm doing anymore. The, like the worst sense of direction. Okay, is there anything this way that we can, I'm just gonna run because honestly, who cares? Um. So this is one F, so we can go upstairs. So let's go. There's Hero. Hero, can we actually go anywhere? Could it be? Uh, nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. Uh, the only difference is the gate block in the stairs leading up to the third floor is like gone. Oh, it is. I guess that's where they want us to head next. Oh, I wonder what crazy stuff is up there. Let's go find out. There's still some rooms on this floor that we haven't even looked at yet. I feel a bit bad not looking at them. I almost feel like like I should do that though. I know this is kind of like annoying because I'm like going out of order again. But um, I don't think I've looked at some of these rooms, have I? The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. What? Have I looked in here? I might have done. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the baby sleeping. I don't even want to. Okay. That's got to be a clue for something. I don't know what. Never mind that. I don't even want to think about it, actually. Library, we've been in there enough. Byaki's probably in there. And now we have, like, this hallway. I don't... I don't reckon we've been in here either. Have we? I can't remember. Reality isn't everything. You don't say. I guess we'll just go. Alright, well, I've looked. So I guess, um... I guess the stairs are the ones over here, yeah. So let's go. It's actually that small hallway, which is probably why I missed it the first time, but yeah, right here. All right, shall we go see? Let's look and see what's open to us now. What's the newest thing? The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Well, let's look real quick. So it looks like we have a rec room. Is that like a museum thing? and a space, like planetarium. And then it looks like actually some storage. Well, let's look at everything, shall we? I think because before I didn't open all the um, the rooms on the second floor, I, I kind of did a stupid, so I'm gonna open them all now so I know what's here. Oh wow, look at this, this looks like fun. So this is let's see. a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shoji, even a dartboard and pool table. And look at this. They even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our board in it, they. Uh oh. Uh huh. Ring, 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 ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. <laughs> Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. Ew. So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Oh, sorry, no can do. Uh, even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kind of... Kind of what? Watch out! Uh-oh. Nothing, never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it. Bye, my Foundation. Bye-bye. What does he mean? What's going on in the outside world? That's what I'm wondering. Obviously, don't tell me. I'm just talking out of my mouth. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? That's what you care about? Okay, well, it's none of my biz. There is nothing to be done. It is rather unfortunate about the magazines, but still. <laughs> I do believe our lives will improve significantly thanks to this little hideaway. Yeah, as long as no one kills each other anymore. Gee, I'm gonna look at everything. Copy of Othello here. I'm pretty bad at it, though. Same. Oh, okay. I gotta spend these. And people said not to even bother, like, paying more to get the, um, the presents at this point. Just keep getting, like... Even if you get copies, there's a lot of presents that some people like, like the same present. Pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma, or did the school buy it? Probably thanks to him, if I had guessed darts! Even a dartboard? Did Monokuma put this here, or was it always part of the school? Alright. 
I'll take it. Anything else? There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? Well, at least you could read one thing. Um, oh yeah. What's this? I almost thought it was liquor bottles. This looks like it comes from having a bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. It's got Monokuma on it. I don't know if I want to drink that. I would probably not suggest that people do. It's a beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. Oh, that means it's going to be important later. Oh, shoot. Shoot, darn shoot. What's behind you, darling? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get... Oh, it's a camera, is it? Is that all? Camera, one of these. Blah, blah, blah. And there's a door. And I guess we'll just leave. Alright, um... Well, there was another room down here that I wanted to look at, too. It looked like a museum or something. Oh. Kyoko, how you doing? <laughs> it would seem... So, the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Whew. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Oh, great. That can't be good. That's gotta be something weird, right? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. So there's like a room here that looks like storage or something? But there's no door to it. I don't know what that actually- Wow. Jeez. Whoa. Now it's dark in there. I don't know if I want to go in there. Oh, too bad. Too late. Whoa. Oh, hey girl. Oh, it's just the Venus de Milo, everyone. Okay, calm down. <laughs> At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. Fumi boy, you, ca you catching a look at them boobies? I mean, that's not 2D like you wanted, but it might be all that you've got. <laughs> well, 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 look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. What's that about? So, Fumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are, like, borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charonbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Rapongi makes. Charonbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite as seen as in Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is a little sculptor fairy, representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo Rapongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. What is Pokemon now? But... One of your elite is missing. You know nothing! Well, the elite three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Uh, well, good luck with that. Wow, does this say something different if I ignore that reaction? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> nope, that's pretty much it. What's up, Venus? Don't look, children. It's a Venus statue, yep. Definitely very art roomish. Well, it's not like every art room has the Venus de Milo in it. Even here in the art room, there's a monitor. Look at all these pictures! Is there anything cool in here? I'm looking at the paintings, but it just seems like... crud. <laughs> Paint crud. There's not much point in worrying about it now. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Why did I mean to do that? Oh, oh, oh. There's a picture. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. What's this? That looks like Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. <gasps> Look at this beautiful photo. Wait a minute, when was this taken? Does someone have a camera here? It couldn't have been. Leon wasn't alive very long. Did... Did these guys know each other before they came here? Wait a minute. What? What I saw in that picture... What a blessed image this is. All three of them are gone. Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were... Smiling. Look at my beautiful baby. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after another. 
Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used and how did they get it developed? Is this from the past? Remember how Saika said that she knew us? Is it possible that these three knew each other before? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, that's the other thing. They're definitely in a different place. There's no metal plate covering it. Well, no, don't drop that. Maybe we should take that with us. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... Oh, f That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that... Oh, they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture, do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Uh-huh. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Oh, never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. That was... Well, I guess let's look at everything else in here. That was weird. There wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. Oh my god, there's, there's stuff in here that could kill somebody. That's what I'm not excited about. Look at this. A dolly. They must use it to move all these statues around. Alright. And this again, just in case there's a coin back here or something. Yep, I'll take all I can get. 80. That's not too bad. Alright. Well, I didn't finish looking around in here, did I? Hi, Hifumi. How are you? There's a... No, 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 there's stuff behind you, boy. God, you're taking up the whole damn space, okay? <laughs> didn't want to say it, but you are. Look at this guy. This is a statue of Neo. I've never really heard anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing or whatever. Well, I don't know, sometimes you just want to, you know... So this is one, I keep trying to click on it, but it's not... What? Oh, okay. It's a locker. But it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. That was weird. Um... There's the Monokuma statue, I should probably look at that. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. I thought so. I'll take it. Uh, is that all? That's pretty much it other than the camera. So, uh, alright. Blah blah blah. Right. Let's go. Let's go look at all the rooms just to be sure. Alright, that was the art room. And it's storage, I suppose, which is, uh... There's two classrooms, too, that I didn't look at. Hang tight, because I just want to look at those super quick before I go even further. So, apparently there is a fourth floor, because it says so on the map. Unfortunately, we'll have to go through that later. But I just want to see if there's anything written in these uh, classrooms like there were in the other ones, just because I missed them last time, so I don't want to miss them now. Whoa. Getting tired of this. What does that bottom part say? There's like a bottom part to that thing, and I, I can't see what it actually says. Same old shite in here, eh? Just checking. Same shit with the windows, camera, and the monitor. Getting tired of this. I wish I could have read what that said. I could probably leave and come back and try to read it, but I could, it would happen so fast. I don't know if I'll be able to. Huh. Alright. Despair Squadron, Monokuma Sakura, why are you in here, darling? You scared me. You're alright. So in the end. The windows up here are also barred with metal plates. Not surprising, I suppose. So escape still looks impossible. Ugh. I better check all the other metal plates again, just to be sure. That's a good idea. Um... Oh, it's really all the same shite. Just everything on the blackboard's a bit different is all. I don't know if that means anything yet, but it's good that we've seen it. Alright, let's go to that, uh, that physics room. Not down there. Let's run! Oh god, I'm running in the hallways! No one's going to stop me. Because you can't. Uh-oh. What the hell? This looks a bit ominous. I don't know if I like it down here. Uh. Whoa. What is the elevator? Hello? 
It must have a, like a... Whoa. What the hell is this? Holy shit. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. What in the hell? Taka, you're right, darling. He really does not look well. Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? He's still not talking, is he? Oh dear. Oh, my poor baby. God, I hope he's alright. Like, I literally hope he's okay. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but... I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. It all looks very high-tech. Really high-tech. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Oh my god, that scared me, that one. <laughs> there was no warning. What? 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 <laughs> You wanna do some quantum leaping? I did like that show as a kid. Huh? Phew. That's a time machine. They're pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? It can go back in time? Uh-oh. Okay, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh, Taka... <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, uh, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long? Uh, I've been there. <laughs> one minute. Wah -wah? Oh, you sound disappointed. Hmm. Oh, but actually I was lying about the whole thing anyway. Huh, there's no such thing as time machines. Oh, Taka... Oh my god. Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier that looks like that? In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You got Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it. It's your butt. Don't talk about my butt like you know it. This huge thing is just an air purifier? More than that. Taka? You are right. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Taka needs a hug. Go, good Christ almighty, can I just hug this boy? Taka. Oh, it's the same. He's not talking. I hope he's gonna be okay. Uh, maybe I need to spend some free time with him or something. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. Oh, getting a lot of these. Alright. Um, well, it's just the monitor and shit. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, is that all? Oh, no, there's a- there's a door. Where does this go? To another storage room, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, girl! <laughs> this is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Maybe it's her. <laughs> Uh, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! It's so tempting! Uh -huh. I just want to dug myself right in it! Um, maybe you shouldn't do that? Of course Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Well, I mean, to each his own, I suppose. Uh -huh. uh, it really is unbearable. A nice long bath in a tub of formaldehyde, that's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me... Uh... Oh. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She is seriously funny. Oh, babe. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust, too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. Alright. What about this? What's this down here? This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it. It seems perfectly ordinary to me. Oh. Alright. Was that a speaker? Oh no, that's a monitor. It's tiny. Oh, maybe it's just the angle. It's a bit weird. Alright, uh... Huh. Right, let's leave. Did I look at everything in here? I think I did. I'm not sure though. Uh... 
Oh, wait. What's up here? What's this? Oh. There's surveillance camera here, too. Alright. Oh. Hey! There's a camera! Look at that! Oh, it's cute! It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime-style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on fine. Yeah, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange. But I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm getting more and more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Alright. Well, we're going to do this part, I think, in the next one. Uh, one thing I need to do real quick before I start talking with everyone. Oh. Hang on to that thought. Um, I said that I would do this because people wanted me to do this. Uh, can I do it from here? Let's see. No. I'll have to do it in the next one, probably. I wanted to, um, up the difficulty, but I'm not sure when you can actually do that. But I will figure it out. Don't worry. Uh, so in the next one, we'll find out what's happening. We'll talk to everyone, and, uh, hopefully nothing, nothing bad will happen. Uh, something bad's gonna happen, though. I'll see you guys later.